Hey guys, welcome back to Life on the Eddy Family Farm. Well, today, because we're still waiting on and getting everything situated for our Alabama trip, that's one thing I want to do right before we leave is clean all the water troughs. So, starting from goats, the um, we may go ahead and do the pigs' water again. He just he gets in every water, so I don't, it's not really just one or the other. It's all of them but get all the chicken waters, get, just get everything, just get them, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Clean. Well, yeah, get them clean. Let's, let's go back to the basics. Um, but so that's what we're gonna do. Layton's out here to help me uh, turn the water on and off. I can get Brennan's phone, but he's doing the same as me, trying to get a video out. So today I get Layton to help. All right, if you want to go ahead and you're gonna turn it on well, I'll, I'll tell you when, but you'll turn it on and then you'll turn it off because I just need a little bit of water to kind of scrub it and then we'll rinse. Yeah. All right, so here's the water hose. And I'm going to drag it down here and start at the end and work our way back that way. So I'll do it right there. And some of these are um, halfway filled up. And some of them are halfway filled up, but um, we, I'm going to go ahead and dump them out so I can get them all cleaned up really good and then we'll refill them. All right. Splashes. Get back. Get back. Hi. Hi. Oh, man. What that means when they're halfway filled up is they are heavy. So, all right. Ugh. All right, pull this off here. Maybe, there we go. And I have a scrub brush right up here. He's over there playing in the water. smart if I would actually plug the hole but that's plenty of water It's not going to be perfect, but it'll be drinkable. I'm getting all nasty. Looks like shower for me tonight. I know the outside doesn't really matter, but it matters to me. Mm. 
I'm going to pause it there and go find me a different brush. All right, I found another brush because I'm pretty sure this is an actual like horse brush and it's just a little bit softer. I need to get me a wiry brush. I'd, I'd probably like something skinnier too because it'd be a lot easier to clean these. Brandon's the one that always cleans them and I think he just uses like these or like the purple and yellow or blue and orange or whatever ones, but they're about this size. But I think I just need something skinnier. Maybe I'm a little bit more needier than Brandon. What is it, cowboy? You need some water? Huh? You need some water? I know it. You telling me? All right, I think that's gonna be good on that. That's all I can get anyways. All right, turn it on. Well, I don't know if I can get this thing down in there. Yeah, that cleans a lot better. It's a little bit harder. Harder bristle. I'm just making a big mud puddle. Not perfect, but I mean, it's good. Okay. I'm gonna set this in here, then put the water in. All right, guys, watch out. Watch out. I'll go in and unplug it and put the lid on it too in a second. All right. 
We'll be moving to y'all next. Excuse me, girls and boy. That does look a lot better though. There you go. Nice clean water. All right, I think I'm going to put that on top of that coop because I don't need to use it. And we're going to move on down to my favorite Jubilees. Got the drill. This one actually doesn't look that bad. Back up. Back up. You ain't getting out. Hmm. I can't even pick it up with my left hand, but I don't want her to get out or him. Just in case, I'm going to lock this back. <laughs> okay. These chickens like it with the water though because water means bugs are going to come up, I think. All right, scrub brush. Go ahead and do this part. Look, I forgot to close it off again. One of these days, I'll learn. I felt water hitting my foot. I'm gonna let that fill up right there and kind of try to scrub this a little bit more. I don't know if it's gonna work, but.
The only thing bad is I'm going to have to actually move this one. Oh! All right, y'all stay back. Stay back, you hear? Dude. All right, dude, get back, get back. All right, there's you some water. All right, on to the next one. It's crazy, only two pins down. All right, there's a couple things about this pin. One, we have the new water. And then two, if you'll look, We have some new guineas. I don't know exactly how many. So, Leighton said that they actually got 25 guineas. So, what happened was, you know, we had 10 guineas for a long time. We had more than that, but they just keep getting picked off one by one, one by one. So, the guineas, we had 10, and I think six of them ended up gone they went i don't even know where they went so we had four and um then same with our chocolates i'm not 100 percent sure how many chocolates we actually had but we are down to two chocolates and then there was four guineas well brandon and layton actually went to the dog trade which around here it's like a big flea market and it's just something they do every sunday and it's it's a lot of fun usually we don't get to do it just because it's from like, I think you could start showing up around 6.30, maybe even earlier than that, actually. We usually go, or back when we used to do it, back when Leighton was a baby, um, we'd go and it was before dark. So it might be like 5.36. But anyways, you just show up and um, you pay like two dollars or three dollars or something like that to get in that's for the car and um you could just buy whatever well um i don't know where i was going there but anyways they went and they bought 25 more guineas so 25 plus four so i guess we have 29 25 plus four five oh. plus four is nine i'm confused because <laughs> Well, um, so we got 29 guineas and two chocolates still, but anyways, that's, we're cleaning waters today. So this is a new water. So all I'm going to do here is actually fill it up. I don't have to, it's not at that point it needs to actually clean. Um, so I'm going to fill that one up and then we'll move on to the next of them. Will you go ahead and turn the water on? All right, chocolates back up. Oh yeah, that's that's like drinking water right there. It's clear. Hi Dixie. Alright, 
No getting out today. Y'all can't get out. They're like, what's going on? I'm getting soaked over here. <laughs> All right, that's pretty clean now. Get back, get back. I'll kind of give y'all a glimpse. All right, dudes, get out of the way. Hey, chocolate. But there's all the guineas. And they're gonna stay in here a lot longer because these birds, these, I guess, chicken hawks, and even the buzzards are picking them off one by one. All right. I'm going to go ahead and screw this back in. So got that one. Now we're going to move on down here to try to kill three birds, one stone. I come in here? You scare me. All right, chocolate. You're going to have to get back. doesn't really like me so I use the water hose to guard it off there's that one okay it's muddy this one actually doesn't look too bad And then there's that one. These don't look too bad, these two right here. I remember it halfway through this time. Obviously, these hay dudes will be going in the wash. All right. These are not bad at all. 
They just have a little bit of green on here on the top. Yeah, like that one on the inside is done. The outside don't really matter, but I'm gonna give it a little bit of a rinse. Okay. Having a crowing comp competition. I'm more of a goat water trough cleaner. Usually Brandon's the one that does the chickens. And now that I've done this a few times, I like the goat waters. <laughs> what, you want some water? All right, let's get these lids. All Should be good now. <laughs> Try not to slip in the mud. Go ahead and let this one fill up. Whew. Don't fall, Stephanie. It's one good thing about hay dudes. I haven't washed them yet in the washer, but I feel like they should be pretty easy. All right, so that one's semi-clean and filled. Next on the list is this dude. This one, I'm going to move it up here a little bit where there's no mud because getting this lid on, a lot of times it takes some pushing down on. But look how clean these ones get. Like that's how nasty it was. 
and they get really, really clean. There's that one. There's that one. Light, and I need the water on. It gets all nasty. Layton's gonna turn the water on for me, and then I'll be done with this part. Open this. And put these guys back in here. Let's see if he wants some water. He had some water already, so he probably don't care. Well, it wasn't sitting right for me. All right, guys. There you go. There you go. Cowboy, why aren't you helping me? Next, we're gonna get over here and I'm gonna redo um, Wilbur's water and then I'm gonna while I'm filling this up, I will go and actually scrub out their actual water. I'll let it get low today so that I can actually dump it out. Hopefully it's low enough that I can dump it out and, and scrape it and clean it in a little bit, but we'll see. Just stay up there. All right. And then just like before, I'm going to kind of clean the hose off before I set it down in there. That's why I always get wet. There we go. Maybe I can get it like this. All right. All right, I'll let that fill up. And then we're going to actually go in here and see if all the, um, if I can lift this water trough or not. I'm going to just scrub it since there is water in there right now. I could grab this underneath, but I'm scared I'm not going to be able to. Let's do this. <laughs> that 
worked. Now I'm going to get Leighton to turn the water on and we're going to rinse it out good. Alright, so now I'm going to go holler at Brandon and have him turn it on for 30 minutes and then it may take a full hour, I'm not 100% sure, but um, we'll start with 30 minutes and then work our way up. But I'm gonna go ahead and get over here to this Vivor and see how much more I can actually finish before it gets dark. All right, well, y'all can see I'm watering in the background, trying to fill it up. Well, Brandon, he made his way over here and I guess, hey, I'll take his help. Yeah. Especially sewing. That just, that sewing stuff just ain't for me. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how this pin works out. It does look like it's gonna, like, be super sturdy and strong. It's just gonna take a lot of wrapping. Uh, what can I be doing? to get, help with this you can get you another uh cut you off some and throw it over there and we'll meet in the middle okay how much do you need on this to wrap it around the tie or whatever about that much yeah
Alright guys, well this is turning into a multiple day, not just a two day um, thing, but we want it to be right. So we're doing the, you know, all the sewing up stuff, just like it shows and everything. And, but anyways, so I guess on the next video I'll probably work a little bit and then the next one and the next probably one. Probably the next one, just show them it's done. Yeah, we may just show you that it's done. But um, that's all we're gonna do for today though. We're gonna call it quits. And then I think we're gonna go grab something to eat. It's about that time. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know it was a lot of just me and Layton cleaning water troughs and chicken waters and everything, but it's something that we have to do on the farm. So I figured just show y'all what we do on a daily, or at least every couple days process. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give me a thumbs up, turn notification bell on, and subscribe. God bless.